Why do some Elementor sites get better results? It's all about using the right settings and presets. So in this video, I'll walk you through this pre-made blueprint that contains all the key presets and one setting that can dramatically boost your website's speed. This blueprint is actually the foundation of 500 websites that I've built. So for example, this site began with my blueprint and now it looks like this. And here is another example. So let's go to the juicy stuff so I can show you all my settings. And by the way, you can get this entire blueprint template from my Gumroad shop in the description below. Okay, so here we are inside the Elementor settings. And in the beginning of this video, I promised to show you one setting that could dramatically boost your website's speed. And that's here inside Elementor Manager. And here you can see a list of all Elementor widgets. So if I click up here, scan element usage, you can see how many times I've used each uh, widget. So for example, the heading here. But what's really cool about this is that if you scroll down, you can see which widgets you didn't use. So you can see here, I have toggled off all of these widgets that I didn't use on the page. So I don't have to load these widgets every time someone visits the website. When you disable them, you will not be able to see them here inside the Elementor editor. Okay, before I go into the actual Elementor settings, I just want to show you one of my favorite presets that allowed me to create these scroll trigger animations. And to achieve this, I just added a small line or actually two lines of code here inside Elementor and custom code. You can see I have something called the GSAP library here. So if I click edit, you can see that it's actually just two lines of JavaScript code. I will leave a link in the description below here so you can just go ahead and copy this code and insert it yourself. And for the record, I'm only using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin on this blueprint. And for my theme, I just use hello theme. Okay, so inside Elementor settings in general, you can see here that I always have disabled the default colors because I will use my own anyway. And you could also disable the default fonts and just import your own fonts like this. Okay, so let's move on to the juicy stuff here and go inside advanced. And there is quite a lot of settings, so I will just quickly go through if I enable them or disable them. And you can also just take a screenshot. So this is what I've come to conclusion that works best for me every time. And one little bonus tip is to just go ahead and disable the Google fonts, because if you disable them and save, you can now see that if I go inside the Elementor editor, you will see that there is not many fonts left, so it's only the default one now. And that means that every time somebody visits your page, the entire Elementor don't have to load all of these unused fonts. Okay, so let's go back to the settings. I'll just enable this again, and I'll just recommend that you only enable these in the middle and just disable the other ones because this is only needed if you have some trouble in the Elementor editor and this is not something most sites ever want to use. Okay, let's go to the next one. And here I found that this is the perfect setup for the best performance, but I actually think that most of these are just default settings. The only thing I will say is that the Gutenberg just need to be disabled. There's no point in optimizing the Gutenberg editor if you don't use it and you're just using Elementor editor. So let's go to the next and the last one. And here you will notice that a lot of these are actually inactive or deactivated. And that's what I will recommend that you do. Just deactivate everything and then activate it if you want to use it or need it. So I'll just slowly scroll down so you can see what I have activated and what I have deactivated here. Okay, I think that was it for this video. If you want to see more, then take a look at this video.